Hey guys, it's The Last Game Hunter and welcome back to another episode where we're going to take the PlayStation Move and move forward. Welcome back. What about the PlayStation? Of course now the VR is the big thing for that type of thing. Now, when you're going out and you're buying a VR, I bought the VR Doom Edition which did not come with move controllers. Now, one cool thing that people may not know, and that is where the education comes in. You can use, and this is where the move moves forward. Do you get it? Ha! Nah, whatever. So anyway, you can use your move controllers moving forward. So guys, moving forward, you can actually make a plane land. No, that's not what these are for. Don't ever do that may not work very well. Anyway, but you could make your plane, or plane land, ha! <laughs> See, it just did it again. But literally, these little babies here. Now here's where I'm gonna educate if you do not know, and you may already know this, and if you do, comment below, because this is really cool. These are $130 Canadian, so probably about 100 bucks American, if you buy the PlayStation 4, what they call version, for the PlayStation VR. But if you already have them from your PS3 Move, they are the same thing. They work identical. In fact, from what I can understand and what I read, there is no difference between them. I don't even know if there's even a firmware change in these things. And that might be about the only thing, but they are the same idea, idea they had from the PlayStation Move. So now this is where things get to move forward. Now, what else would be cool? So don't look at your old PlayStation 3 uh, Move stuff and say, huh, I don't use it anymore. But I do have a VR. Well, hold on guys, because there's more. What about that game you wanted to play with your light gun? And tat 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 tat, you know what I'm saying? So now you can use some of your old peripherals from your PlayStation 3 to play those shooter games on your VR, giving you that feel. Now, I did do a little bit of homework. I don't own that new move or, or whatever it is, motion gun they have for the PlayStation 4 VR. And I do hear, from what I've seen now, it's actually extremely impressive. And when I say impressive, I mean it uh, is extremely accurate. It's motion. You're moving like this or doing whatever, and the gun is doing everything that you're doing. That blows my mind. I don't know if this will work that same way, and I doubt it. But the other one has the controller built in for moving around. Now here's where your PlayStation 3 Move doesn't get to move forward. The actual Move controller. See that? Now the Move controller, which would have actually went in here to uh, allow you to walk around, move, and do whatever you needed to do, will actually, from what I understand, at least right now, does not work with the PlayStation 4 properly. I believe it connects, but it doesn't do anything properly. Now, if they can make that happen, your old peripherals can become fully, fully functional. And that would save a lot of people a lot of money. If you, Sony, you're out there listening, fix this, because this is really cool. And it saves people a lot of money. Because I just wanted to do this really you know, short, cool video about the PlayStation and PlayStation VR, because the move was actually kind of cool, and I did skip it. It's a time that I decided to just skip, and mostly because I'm a heavy Xbox fan coming from being a big Sega fan. That was my go-to console. So, no offense to Sony, and if I would have known this tech was actually as accurate as it was, I may have enjoyed some shooters on it a lot more and I would have tried it, as I'm going to do now. So moving forward with your move, keep in mind that if you are trying to go into the PlayStation a VR category and you want to do it on a budget, you just kind of want to, maybe you found a used headset or something with all the gear, but it doesn't have the move controllers or whatever, keep an eye out for the PlayStation move controllers. They do work with your VR and that is something really cool. Now, something else that I found out, and I still gotta do a little more homework on it, guys, but did you know you could use your VR on your PC? 
and use all of your steam on your computer this is true there is somebody out there who has made software i am actually going to try and figure this all out for you guys and do possible setup and i i really took interest in this because it takes your playstation vr headset and brings it into a whole new category for you so if you're thinking about doing vr on your pc on a budget let's say but you also want to do it on your playstation then one unit could possibly do it all for you uh, down the road i will try this out the software i think you do have to purchase so that is one bit of a downside but i mean it may i think i only heard 30 or 40 bucks for it and if it works and you're able to do everything on your pc with your through steam of course uh, steam vr on your playstation 4 headset why wouldn't we give that a try it's you know a little bit of a modern unit it's not a bad product at all. It does incorporate your cameras and everything that came with your PS4 uh, VR set. And the cool thing is I did end up with actually a couple cameras. So I could have one set up on my television for my VR and I could have one set up on my computer for when I move it to there. So guys, let me know what you think. I thought this was really cool. It was just something I wanted to get out there. It's something I've thought about for a while now. And I thought it was pretty cool that people should also be aware that you don't have to spend $130 for these Move controllers because the Move controllers used from the PS3 are really climbing up now. They really are. If you go on eBay, you're paying anywhere from $60 to $80 for these things. So people are starting to get aware of it. But when you're out yard sailing or you're on Kijiji and you see these for $20, $30, bucks, grab them. They work. Hey guys, anyway, till next time, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was more just a educational, um, I wanted to talk about the VR and uh, I haven't been able to use my VR yet. Just, you know, studying different things as I'm getting ready to be able to try it. Uh, one of the things that I wanted was some move controllers and I didn't want to spend $130 for them. So guys, please like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell if you already haven't so you can get updated on up and coming events or anything coming up from the last game hunter and you don't want to miss you really don't want to miss an episode that could be the one thing that you said oh my god that's right it can happen maybe it can't but it can and maybe it can't but it can so guys till next time game over